Uh, let's move on now, Jason, to a little hand sanitizer, because I tell you, if you try and pick it up at the store, it's just not going to happen <laughs> right yeah, now. No question. Yeah. Hard to find. Mm -hmm. But so. this is uh, being held up as one of hand sanitizer and soap. Right. These are our number one weapons in killing coronavirus. Right. So we wondered, all right, how, soap has been around for centuries. How right. is it that soap wipes out the threat? Uh, right. And you took a look into this for good question last night. I did, because if you think about it, with all of the difficulty that the coronavirus has given to us, the virus itself is actually pretty easy to kill. Not all viruses are easy to kill, but the way that this coronavirus is, it makes it easy to kill with soap. And what happens is this virus, you've probably seen it on TV, that, uh, that circle, that kind of globe with the yeah. pointy things sticking out. Well, what that is, it's a bunch of proteins and a bunch of oily, fatty lipids, lipids they call them. And what the soap does is it comes in and dissolves those lipids. So everything inside that virus then just essentially gets destroyed. And huh. it happens pretty quickly. Um, the same, it's a similar method with the alcohol and the hand sanitizer. But Jason, I think you've said this before. I've known you said it on the, the morning show is that they do recommend washing your hands over using the hand sanitizer. Yeah. And it wasn't until yesterday that I understood that. Well, I understand that people will wash their hands for a longer amount of time than they do for the hand sanitizer. Um, but what happens with the soap is you wash your hands with the soap, the virus dies in there, and then all of that then gets washed away. Hmm. When you have this hand sanitizer, that stuff kind of sticks on your hands. There. That makes it's sense. It's dead, yeah. but it still sticks right. on your hands. Right, so better to wash it away. Right. Also, exactly. like, all, uh, soap is not hard to come by right no, now. And hand it's, sanitizer yeah. is. And right. Like, soap is way cheaper. For sure. And it's any kind of soap. So it, yeah. it can be the cheap soap. It can be the fancy soap. It doesn't the have to be. pretty decorative soaps that grandma has? Do that all works, that works, too. too. Yeah. Just soap and shaped it, like a bird. <laughs> Still works. I, I don't want to use those. They're so beautiful. I know. I yes. Mean, you can't yeah, use I those know. in grandma's right. house. It's like using the beautiful towels that right? she sets out. I can't use those I either. Know. I know it. <laughs> yeah. But they would work if it you were would. in a pinch. Right. Exactly. And do you remember a couple weeks ago? It seems like a couple years ago when our kitchen pantry scientist was on and she made that uh, hand sanitizer for us. Right. Yes. Right. And so basically you can do that if you have sort of uh, that isopropyl alcohol, which I also could not find at the right. store yesterday. Yeah. So, so just keep looking for that. Right. It has to be a solution of 60% or higher. I think Liz used one that was 91%. And so she put in three cups, three quarters of a cup of the alcohol and one quarter of a cup of the aloe. Okay. Because you're just trying to not kill your hands there sure. without alcohol. Yeah. I mean, the best thing is soap and water, just right. trying to be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, this is like, I hate to say it's your backup method because the number one method to protect yourself is mm -hmm. by staying away from people who right. are sick. Right. I mean, that is, all these things are like our second, third, fourth, fifth line of defense right. against the number one, which is why we're seeing, uh, you know, more and more people just trying to lock it down and stay at home. That's right. the number one defense. The droplets going back and forth. Right. But the other thing is. Why can't we drink soap? Would that work? <laughs> no. So gross. That is gross. That. I know. Unfortunately, there's punishment back in the day. Right. Yes. But there is nothing that like we could take. And I guess that would be the dream, right? If you right. could figure out a way. Uh, and this is what a vaccine does, I guess, where mm -hmm. it, it has the body fight this thing off. Right. Uh, the challenge is once that once the virus gets in, once it gets in, it, it can it sticks into your yeah. airways. It's that right. little those little spiky things that we see on that globe. That's what really can stick into your airways, your airway. and then and then the virus will grow. Cool. But well, one last thing, if you can't find any of these sanitizers. Use a dilution of bleach. That's the go-to for the not, experts not that on we your, talked with. Not on, not your, on your hands, on, your hands. on only on the surfaces. And all of that stuff I put online. There's a ton cool. of resources on our, on our. I'll put it on my um, Twitter and my Facebook, but there's a ton Good. of resources out there. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't totally care how it works. I just nope, care that it does work. Care that it works. But yep. it is kind of, it is interesting the to science, know about how you're yeah. just washing those little, little, little sticky things. Little viruses away. Little yep. lipids. Yeah, cool. <laughs>